Welcome to Real Physics. This is my series about constants of nature and today I'm talking about the elementary charge. Why considering constants of nature at all? Because they are the royal road to understanding fundamental physics, as I have explained. Now, the first one to discover and to prove the existence of the elementary charge was Robert Andrews Millikan. Uh, it was a famous experiment with little oil drops which are which were charged and uh, of course he suspected that the electrical charge would be quantized but he also cheated a little bit to obtain his results as a sideline there was a discussion about fractional electrical charges in the 1960s and people were saying let's look for fractional charges because quarks have fractional charges if we find them there's this, this is evidence for quarks and then they didn't find the fractional charges and they said oh this is evidence that charge that quarks sorry cannot be separated and this is also evidence for quarks that's by the way one of the episodes for which i don't like very much the idea of quarks but this is a sideline what is important and what is not understood to this day is why electric charge is quantized at all we don't have a quantization of masses and uh, so the question remains why this constant of nature and somehow it is closely related to the other famous quantum the quantum of, of action discovered by Planck and this is also shown by some very interesting experiments such as the Josephson effect which relates um, H over E to uh, voltage times frequency in this Josephson effect at very low temperatures and we have also the um, Van Klitzing effect there you measure an electrical resistance which is h over e squared and you can determine both constants with this uh, effect there must be a close relation to the quantum of action but we don't really understand why the electrical charge is quantized uh, usually, if you talk about the um, strength of the electrical force, you express that by E squared over epsilon naught, the dielectric constant. And this, you can consider this as the strength of the electrical interaction, but usually it is combined also with C and H and put into the fine structure con constant, which is also, if you want, a measure of this strength of the electrical interaction why the electrical interaction is so much bigger than the gravitational interaction is another riddle but the very fact of the quantization remains to be explained and of course also why does the electron and the proton have exactly the same amount of charge this is another thing we should understand if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it and if you're interested in fundamental questions of physics subscribe to this channel